Oh, the bye bye boy. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. No, no, no. Hope they've got that thing. There it is! They'll be there waving their arms and screaming and shouting, I'm sure. Everyone thinks car sales is all cocaine and fast cars, but it's not. It's always just paying to fix things. The best car bought and best car sold, though. I mean, this one could potentially be. Right, so Monday, um, no Toby here today, so you've got to deal with crappy iPhone footage. I'm trying to get as best as I can. Um, so what's been going on? Jason sold the BMW 318D, the one that we got from G3. Um, what did he sell that for? Five grand, which, is that right? Doesn't sound very good, does it? Because I paid three and a half for that plus fees. So mm, I suppose there's 1,200 pounds on it, plus, Oh, I'll tell you what it is, he's knocked a bit of money off because we're taking a 207. We offered him maximum 750 quid for it, which he wasn't very happy about. But it looks like Jason's done the car 250 quid off and we're giving him 500 quid for his part exchange, so it makes it a bit better for us because that was our original offer on it. Um, so yeah, and I'm just sat here now scrolling through G3 auctions. Uh, that's where we got that from. So I haven't bought from a Tuesday sale before, so Shall we have a look what they've got? This naturally jumped out at me. Yas Marina Blue M3. Shall we have a look at that? Look at that bad boy. Uh, part of me likes the Yas Marina Blue, part of me doesn't, but still, nice looking car. Um, what is it saying? Cap retail, £23,500. Cap average, £17,950. Maybe we'll try and watch that go through tomorrow, see what it makes. It's come from Oodle Finance, so maybe not necessarily the best one to be buying from, but what does it say about one key? Last, no service history. That's not what you want with an M3, really, is it? So this is where you gotta be careful. And I mean, they're still, you know, you probably find it from BMW or something, you know. Just, if you want to be a car dealer and make good money, you've got to be ballsy somewhat, I think. What else have we got? Nice S3. That's quite nice looking. Should have a look at that one. Missing its badge on the back. Why do people do that? That's annoying. Yeah, it doesn't really do much for me, to be honest. Let's have a look at there. 360. See, I'm not a massive fan of these light-coloured leather interiors either. That's a manual. I would have probably preferred an automatic. But hey-ho. That's why it's nice having so much choice to look through. So I'm going to carry on looking through these. Um, ooh, look at that. Lots of interesting stuff today. Cut the Maxton design splitter on that. That does look quite nice, though, I have to say. That looks pretty mean. So look inside. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? I love that kind of honeycomb interior. That is quite tasty. Anyway, try not to get distracted by stuff like this. Try and find more sensible things to do. Um, pulled the Porsche into the showroom today just to kind of see how it looks um because we've got brad coming tomorrow to do the hexagonal lights on the ceiling so that'll be interesting to see how everything's looked in there that's going to be our new sort of photo area ish might be struggling to get some of the bigger cars in there but yeah hopefully it'll look all right and a good display area anyway um we got toby off today obviously like i said he's got a day off dan's got his day off because it's his birthday so happy birthday dan if you're watching this and mark is I don't know why they mean to do a middle finger then. It's uh, stuck on the toilet. It's got dodgy cats. So he's off today. Um, yeah, sun's out though. So uh, better crack on. Can't spend all day filming.
glad you're back, Toby. I didn't get very much footage yesterday. I got some on the iPhone, but it wasn't very good. the lobby screen now because the raffle's over. Yeah, 
too bad, the other side is a bit stupid, a little bit towards the back corner. I'll Cleaning vans again, I can't help myself. A van arrives, I've got to clean it. Yeah, you know, you're saying about having a, a dryer thing. Oh, low power, I think. Because the hose is completely... Better get a new one now. You can use this as a heater for out here. But it does blow warm air. Just going to pump some... Tango on it. Yeah, yeah but you can use it while you scrub it in and it, it comes off all... That kind of works it in. I'm doing it. <laughs> I can't watch these wheels, Toby. This is satisfying. That'll do. I don't know how he drives like this. I'm like, like a gorilla on a little tricycle. It's weird when you see them on, then you turn them off, they look dirty. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Right, get this bag of shit out of here and we'll get something nice. <laughs> yeah. Miserable, gloomy photo. Have a look. Patient. Bad, mate. Can we get the broom out of the background? <laughs> Pretty nice. These lights in the balancing area. We're just lighted. How fucking miss. Look at that. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm, uh, it probably makes sense to, not, maybe not hugely, but to 350 maybe. Um, what figures have you got at the minute for uh, wages? Wages, so wages I've got three and a half grand for clerical and 30 grand for manual. Um, what's that, per month? Or <laughs> No, we must have had that for a year, do we? Yeah, yeah, no, it's a lot more than that. Um, it's probably, hmm, what have we got? Um, um, if we were to say about 20 all in a month, so. Yeah. Is, that, is that manual or clerical? Um, it's a mix, so. so I need a split on, on clerical and manual if you can. Okay, so let's say f 5 and 15 would be. So 5 grand a month for clerical, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I think, for the, uh, without getting at the, the banking thing, yeah, if you put it at 1.8, that's somewhere in the middle, that'd be sensible. 1.8, yeah? Yeah. Business use only. Any changes on that? Um, no. Yeah, as long as we've got that open section. I mean, we've got valises and whatever, but they'll be covered under the open part, won't they? Yeah, they'll be covered yeah. under the open business. Yeah. Yeah, rough, as a rough guide, yeah. Let's certainly cover it. We've got turnover at a million, that's going to need to go up there, I imagine. Yeah, um, 1.6 to 2. I'll say, what should I say, 1.6? Uh, the main thing is getting rid of this nasty claim. Yeah, yeah. Um, so fingers crossed, if you can get those documents, that'd be, that'd be really good, and then we can work on getting it redirected. Definitely, I put the message in now. Um, the, other, the other thing I was thinking, um, we're going to go down um, one drive. I put on there, we added on for like all the goods and transit and everything. Okay. But we are going to go back to probably just transporting our own vehicles, not other people's, just stick again with our sales type of stuff. So um, I think when we discussed it, you know, ours would be covered anyway, wouldn't they? So we wouldn't necessarily need that extra Added on. Does that sound sound right? Is that what we discussed? Well, okay, but you're still doing it for your own stock. Yes. So you still need it then because you still need to cover the stock when it's on the back of the truck. Right, I got you. Yeah, I wasn't sure if we discussed last time it was sort of like it was covered because we're already insured. So if that's the case then then obviously yeah, leave it on. What's the um what's the score we've put in on courtesy? Because it sounds it might it might well I know it sounds like it's a, it's normally a nightmare, isn't it? Is it Basically, we can you can add courtesy car extension, which mm -hmm. gives you the full full extension and covers it comprehensively through your insurance. So you can give it to the customer and say, look, you're insured through our policy. Yeah. The only downside of it is if this scenario occurs, yeah. you're, the one, you're the one insuring the vehicle, so the claim, it does affect your claims history. So it's kind of something that you've got to weigh up, really, whether you want to whether you want to give that service to the customer where it's in all fully insured or whether you want to carry on doing it by their insurance because doing it by their insurance obviously if you if you started just asking for a copy of the policy before you give it out just yeah. to protect you yeah. just to make sure they have got the relevant extension and just keep a copy of their driving license on record and at least if a claim happens it, you, you we can get rid of it and yeah. it can be dealt with by their insurance because you've got to protect your claims just because you've got a maximum no claims but I also appreciate the garages, you know, your, your business has grown. And I also understand that when a customer brings a car back and there's an issue, that you, know, you sold a car and it comes back with a fault, yeah. you obviously feel compelled and you, you've got to give them some wheels to, to get to them from work or whatever. Wow. How, just out of curiosity, how drastically, say this claim goes through and we have to, you know, we have to bear the brunt of it. 
how drastically is that going to affect? Is that all the no claims gone and therefore? The, the, the problem is you're on maximum bonus, aren't you? Which yeah. means your premium's cheap because you're getting maximum discount for your claims history. Yeah. If the, if the claim goes through and it straight away it'll cut your bonus in half, so it'll reduce it to three or four years. Um, yeah. So it does have a significant impact on your premium. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. I mean, if we're lending out courtesy cars at a two and a half grand a pop but some, someone has a smash up and I lose two and a half grand because I can't claim back for the car is it going to cost me more than that in added premiums you know what's in, in the long run I would say so the thing is with the impact on your premium is your premium could go up two and a half grand but that's just the first year but it'll impact every year for five years yeah, yeah. you're trying to build it back up again you can lend it will cost you more than two and a half grand in the long run nice one Ashley thanks so much for the call Thanks, mate. See you soon. Cheers, bye. Hope they've got that thing. We went for lunch at a petrol section. They serve roast dinners. Roasted at a petrol station. Yes, yeah, it drives really well. Huh? That's a banging edit. Do me a favour, huh? Man, come on. I need to get that in. Yeah. That's safe. Like, I'm not going to Westbury, so you're probably going to get a valentine. You're not going anywhere in the next two minutes, are you? Totally, really. Where do you want me to put it? In here. Well, I can't, because Mr. Man's on the way. Well, you might be there all day, will you? Okay. Hand, right? <laughs> if you want. Yeah, you get a Volvo, right? Volvo? Oh, you want me to get a Volvo? Volvo, yeah. One out, one in. Yeah, where do you want this? In the forecourt, yeah? Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll take that out if you can't wait to it. It's not a problem. Yeah. <laughs> this is so nice. Look at it. Very, very nice. It's That's yeah, quite wide. Just tint the windows, put some like fake LEDs at the front now and catch or anything, and people will move out the way in the motorway. They'll have no idea. Got your trophy plates, you'll need them. Yeah. Not my preferred method of transport, but. Big truck and trailer. I prefer the little, the little trailer. Follows the body of the truck better. This is just like, it's good, but it just kind of. It's a bit wide for UK roads. Okay, it's like two metres wide. Here we are. <laughs> huh? I'm just gonna put my Spotify DJ on, all right? Eventually. Is that it? Is that it? There it is!
CK68 KVN. CK68 KVN. No, there it is here. It's a photocopy, but it's there. That's fine. It's all right. It's quite nice. It's not quite an alpha. <laughs> Mate, it's got yellow stitching on the steering wheel. It's got an engine light. We're not great. It's got half a tank, but it's got an engine light. You can't go on it. That's got emissions. That's got emissions fault. Yeah, so you drive, you drive the Alpha no matter what. Because, yeah. sweet. Turned up the road and I got halfway up and I was like... Mm -hmm. Engine light, emissions light, service light. Every light. <laughs> but it's got 49,000 miles on it. That's pretty good. So I know when I did mine, I got um, like got me on prescription. I tried just to add a little digit, just so I could update it. Yeah. And they said, oh yeah, we need to see a new prescription. It's yeah. changed. I'm like, no. Oh. <laughs> yes. Got a prescription uh -huh. for some goggles. How's the uh, Alpha? It's very nice. Yeah. It's very smooth and quiet, dry. Excellent. Um, it's got a carbon wang. That's it. I love it. Good old wine. Tango, and then we can go do stuff. Oh shit. o'clock with your shiny new red car. <laughs> Thanks Sarah, we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Cheers, bye bye. Oh no, hang on, sorry. You know, you know what B&M stores is? Yeah. You know how you drive down that road, on the right hand side as you go along it, there's like a fancy holiday car entrance. Josh is going to meet you on the way over. I'm going to do this first, so... Boys, why are you destroying a car in a spray? I mean, I know, don't get me wrong, I know. I can't drive it because it's going to damage the paint by the point because it's crap for us. It's rubbish. Honestly, it's a bit of shit like that. No, 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 genuinely, it will. It won't. It will. Hey, I promise you
What I've found is I must have had hundreds of cars at least. Yeah, and they've, like, they've all got they've all scratches, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's fucking waste of money with that fucking product. Just get a blade, a blade off. Do you know what I mean? How many do you have? Take a liquid off of the car by spraying liquid on it. Yeah. So what does that do? Does that dry it off, is it? No, it lifts the uh, dirt from the water, so you don't scratch it. That's why it glides so easily. Then I wouldn't scratch it because I can. Do you use your toothbrush? Not the actual toothbrush. All you need to fit a car properly, I'm telling you, is a toothbrush, a hoover, a G101, a little smart shine, and obviously car shampoo and polish. That's I reckon it. you actually need WD 40, baby oil. <laughs> <laughs> so you make it all shiny after? That's what smart shine is for. Yeah, no. Is she baby or she Yeah, I don't think it's like baby. That's weird. You need a car, you need a toothbrush and so Do you want to run? Did you say somebody's going to give me 14 4 for it? Okay. Yeah. I mean... To be fair, that's pretty much bang on. Um, yeah, because I, yeah, I mean, I've probably said for sixteen nine nine five, I'd imagine. Um, yeah, but yeah, because we, I, 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 yeah. Oh no, they'll probably try, yeah, but then they got to sell it, so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure. But yeah, I mean, it's, um, yeah, because like, I get two guides. Um, one's Auto Trader, and that tells me, like, say, set it for 17, buy it for, and it says just under 40. But the other guide, which is the trade kind of inside guide, a clean car, like a good one, 14.7, average 13.5, so 14.4. It's probably a bit rich for us, otherwise, I'd make you an offer, but they're, they're giving you a fair price for it, so. Yeah, likewise. All the best with the new car. <laughs> Cheers, mate. No worries. Cheers. Bye bye. Um, 500 feet working stuff. In the car. And there's a the gig. Um, address in the car, yeah? Do want to... It's Haven. Oh, yeah. If yeah. I show, do you know, if I show you, they'll be there waving their arms and screaming and shouting, I'm sure. Perfect. Where is it? Right on that. Yeah. Right, I'm getting on. Thanks, mate. See you in a bit. Thing. Quite nice actually. I wouldn't have it, it's not my type of car, but it's nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. Man, this is probably like 70 MPG all day long. No, the um, what we have was about 70. Mm. Look, it's been bumped. Mm. Um, I did send Jason photos, and you have a look. If you look around here, look, you see where it's been painted, you got all the orange peel. And what well, they've just painted over previous stuff. And you come over here, again, look, you can see where it's been painted. I did tell Jason, and we did take money off because of, because of it, but there's a, the, the light that side has a slight knock on it as well. The front bump has been painted, so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's just been knocked around slightly. The wheel is perfect though. There's a slight bit of scraping on one of the front ones, but they're really good. I thought that was scraping there, but it's not, it comes off. Left side, there's a lot of light scratching from bushes. Let's see whether it's not sitting flush. The lights been pushed in, but I reckon. So this you can wet sand and polish most of that out. That won't be a problem. But the light just looks stupid. Well, I checked some deeper on it, and there's no damage on any, any of the light mounts or anything. Oh, it's a parking sensor. Am I on the wood? Um, not yet. No, will it, will it be on the wood though? Yeah. Great. Yeah, I forgot it's a hybrid. I was like, is it is. started? It's already started. It's so quiet though. I'll just keep it going. Oh, I'm going to the camera. Yeah? Oh, I heard that, mate. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Come have a look at this. Sausage and mash. Appetising, isn't it?
Looks like someone's already eaten it and thrown it up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't, don't get jealous now, mate. Most people have to pay for my own fans to see that. <laughs> Are you like rub on your feet? <laughs> you fall in love Fencing duties. I'm glad. Not that kind of fencing. Stan's polishing his new car. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> we have to replace this soon. Sales is all cocaine and fast cars, but it's not. It's always just pain to fix things. Mainly cars, but also a lot of other things. Sweeping up. Crop it to the right side, so just yeah. chuck it in there, it just shows that we're. Now you've got a fucking airline in the background. That's for your oxygen when you're buying your car. <laughs> oh, I'll put them in hell. How, how much? Right then, end of the day. Well, it's five to two, so it's pretty much the end of our working week. Uh, it's been another busy one, another good one. We need to do a best car bought and best car sold, though. I mean, this one could potentially be all rolled into one. We bought a nice little Yaris, it's a hybrid. Uh, I think it's on about 70,000 miles and we might already have someone on it. They're going to come have a look, possibly after hours of Jason today. So that one could be bought and sold within a few days. That's always nice when that happens. But I don't think I can look past, I don't know where it's gone now, our Alfa Romeo. Uh, I'm sure Toby's got loads of stock footage of that though because we all absolutely love it. It's a very nice car. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that you know, should sell quite well because well, I am and I'm not because it'd be nice to have it hanging around as well. So, um, yeah, I think that's a very nice car. Best cars sold. I can't remember what's gone out. We've had a VW Golf GTI Edition 35 go out this morning, but that was sold a couple of weeks ago. We had to get the wheels refurbed, etc. Uh, a mocker went out. We might have to have a look at the board and see what else has sold. What else have you sold, Jason? What else have you sold this week? The what? Minecraft, the Mini, Golf is nice and 
the Golf Plus. Golf Plus. Let's go and have a look at the Mini. That's the best. Sounds like you won't be here, Jason, but he sold quite a few. But yes, most notably the Micra from the Challenge with Chops Garage. He sold his this week and he was gloating. Oh yeah, I've sold it. Sorry, shifting metal, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully Toby can put that little Instagram uh, dig and post up here. Um, but yeah, ours are sold now. So I don't really know about the financials. I can't remember exactly. I don't think we gave him any money off. Why would you? It's a one owner car with low mileage, full Honda history, etc. cetera. Um, so yeah, that's good news. I'm gonna pick that as my best car sold. I don't know the financials, you have to watch. You have to make sure you subscribe and then you'll see a future video where we talk about how much money we made out of it and how much we didn't. I feel like I probably need to raise the issue of my glasses. You might have seen them earlier in the week, they were broken. Look, look at the job I've done on fixing those. Yes, I mean, it's bizarre, but I'm a bizarre man. I have got new ones on the way now. I've had my eye test. They are bad. Not that bad, but bad. So, yeah, uh, that's it. Oh, we've got another busy week next week, Toby. We're off on another little jaunt. We're off to Silverstone next week. We're going to go and uh, go for the press day of the Porsche Carrera Cup of Great Britain. Of course, we're sponsoring Jack Butel, who is racing in said cup with the Toro Verde team. So we're going to go and see him, meet them all, say hello, check out the garage, check out the cars, watch them fly by. Um, if needs be, I'll get in a lap and do a couple of... show Jack what needs to be done, where he's going to... You know, how he's going to win the championship with a bit of my guidance. Uh, it's not really my job role, but do what I can, you know? So that'll be good. Um, we've got lots of other nice cars coming in next week as well. But we've got some interesting ones. Jack and Macaulay are both going off on a little journey together. They're going up to Bradford, pick up a Mini that's got no keys. That's a brave manoeuvre. Jack, did I? <laughs> Jack, Jack and Macaulay. And Josh and Macaulay. I'm thinking of Jack Butel, the racing driver. <laughs> Josh and Macaulay are going off to Bradford to buy a Mini that's got no keys. Interesting. That'll, that'll make an interesting video. Then from there, they're going to swing down to Liverpool and they're going to pick up a nice Range Rover Sport. Um, then they're probably going to stay in a hotel somewhere in Chester, I think. And then they'll get on the road back to us and we'll have loads of cars to look at. Although we probably won't be there because we'll be... Whatever. Make sure you watch. You're going to have to watch to find out what happens. Both of those cars we just talked about were offered to us via our car buying website, carsboughtformore.com. So if you want to sell your car, make sure you check that out. It's carsboughtformore.com. Probably just said that. But go on the website, fill out your information, we will come back to you with the price and we can collect it from you. Obviously, we're going to Bradford and Liverpool next week. If you want any of my merchandise, it's shiftingmetal.co.uk. Other than that, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next Saturday.